So when doing addition and subtraction, just like we talked about for multiplication and division, um, what exactly we want to do in this case, ladies and gentlemen, is what exactly we want to do in this case, 2 squared of 3 plus, oh, I'm sorry, that's squared of 27, is simplify. Simplify, simplify, simplify. Then apply your operations, all right? So we can't simplify the square root of 3 any further, but we can square root, or we can simplify the square root of 27. Again, look for square numbers that evenly divide into 27. 25, no. 16, no. 9, yes. I can take the square root of 9, which is 3. Now, when adding and subtracting radicals, we know multiplying, when you have two radicals, you can just multiply what's in the radicand, correct? Yes? But when adding and subtracting radicals, they have to have the same radicand. It's just like combining like terms. It's like doing this, 2x plus 3, 3y. You can't add 2x plus 3y. But if it's 2x plus 3x, you can do that, correct? <coughs> and basically, it's the same kind of uh, transfer. That would be 5x. And this is 5 squared of 3. All right, so it's the same type of thinking when we're looking at adding and subtracting radicals. All right. And you know what? 